where we left off last time, we were making some improvements, but there was still some room for improvement in terms of reliable functioning, especially getting four shots. Can we get that fixed today? Stay tuned. If you take a look, you'll see a piece of metal right there at the top of your, just to the top of that magazine lip. And that little slot, then what that is, is that's the magazine sensor spring. And that little slot is on the wrong side. If you look real close at that receiver there, you're going to see a rail. That tab needs to be underneath, and it's not. And I think that that's what's causing me some feeding failures. Especially on, like, if I put four or five in. And eventually that's going to break the way that is right now because the, the barrel comes comes back over that. I think it's only a matter of time that's going to break. Okay, so if you take a look at that now, you'll see that that tab on the very end is now underneath the rail inside that frame, which is where it's supposed to be. It was going to eventually just snap off and be useless. So now it does its job. It's a magazine indicator. And so when, uh, when there's rounds in that magazine, it allows the bolt to go back and forth and uh, hold open on the last. A little bit better view, and you can see a little bit of a mark where that was getting slammed against the top of that. So when I got this, that was not properly inserted. So when I put it back together, I put it back together the way I found it, but it was wrong to begin with. So basically had a two-pronged issue going on that I will find out if it's solved now. Two-pronged issue being A, magazine spring busted, B, recoil hold open spring, not properly installed. You live and learn as you go. You also see here that I took the bolt out without having to take the take the uh, the stock off so that's a good thing now to shoot well, okay guys here we are after my latest uh, little adjustment and uh, we're gonna use some more of this 200 grain remington core locked 35 remington i'm gonna pick up and uh keep working on that uh piece of concrete out there that I was tagging yesterday. Will this be the adjustment that gives me what I'm hoping for, which is four shots, no jams, no problems. We know we can get three and um, let's check it out. Holy cow, man, four shots. No problems. That's never happened. Might have to do that again. Okay, so five is kind of a big step here, guys. Let's see what we can do. I guess I was asking too much. No problem pumping out that next three, though. So, five going to four. Eh. I've heard some people say that these things really weren't designed for five. They'll hold five. Four is probably the number. You saw how quick those three pumped out, though. I was encouraged by that. So, we're going we're gonna to do four one more time, just so I can feel good. We'll have a couple uh, bullets left in the box. We go on home and call this a win. The other thing I'd like to point out, here I've got four in the magazine again, is uh, you just saw me a minute ago pop three off like nobody's business. And um, I can't imagine any circumstance I'd ever deer hunt like that. So the kind of follow-up shots I'm looking for out of a firearm like this isn't like what I'm looking for out of something like an AR. I'm not double tapping, things like that, but a quick follow-up shot in case you miss or, you know, that occasion when you have two deer tags and two deer standing next to each other.
And that's what we're looking for, guys. Nailing four consistently. Well, each time I loaded up four, that's what we got today. One thing uh, that I'll point out, and I noticed this a couple times prior shooting, is uh, when the barrel heats up and uh, the receiver starts heating up, I've noticed that uh, the bolt hold open starts becoming inconsistent on the last shot. And I imagine that that just has a lot to do with the metallurgy and the tolerances more than anything else. And uh, again, for use as a uh, hunting rifle, it's not a big deal at all. I'm not gonna go hunt with uh, 20 or, or 30 cartridges and, at a uh, shot. Before I went to work on this today, it had a couple couple holes in it, but uh, this is a result of uh, firing at it today. As you can see, those 200, 200 grain slugs hit with some kind of power, without a doubt. And you can see we're quite a ways away from the truck. So, easy to shoot. That's dead deer accuracy, without a doubt. And uh, I don't think that deer's going very far either. Got to be out there somewhere. It's not deer season yet. Now, the one thing I need to remember when I'm dealing with something like this, which is from days past, using wooden steel, craftsmanship, and techniques, all sorts of things we don't use anymore, is that this is a hunting rifle, okay? Yeah, it's a semi-auto loader. Yeah, one of these or something just like it was used to uh, take out Clyde Barrow from Bonnie and Clyde, as we talked about in an earlier video. Um, but should not be confused with something like this. And if you watch my channel, you know that I very much love to shoot stuff like this. Here I could shoot 30 rounds, swap out the mag, shoot another 30 real quick. I could do that, uh, oh, probably four or five mag changes before it gets too hot for me to feel like grabbing a hold of, okay? Why is that? Well, this is a, a modern firearm using modern materials, and this firearm uh, is gas-operated, and it was designed originally to be full auto. This was not, okay? How do I shoot hunting rifles? Well, I typically take one shot um, and occasionally, very occasionally, a second shot. So needing to shoot more than a couple, two or three, maybe walking out with four, which is, was my stated goal, is about all I need from this firearm. But to think that I'm going to take this and shoot it till it's, till it's hot and it's going to keep functioning in the same way that something like this is, well, that's just fooling myself. You need to have the right expectation when you're looking at these old firearms. Um, having said that, though, so cool. So cool. And this is going to be my last uh, video with this, I believe, uh, unless I take it hunting, in which case I'll be happy to tell you more about it. Uh, but I believe this will be my last video with this. We've got it doing what we want consistently. Um, I do have a Model 8 that I'm supposed to be acquiring here within the next week or so, and I'm really looking forward to that. But uh, I appreciate you, uh, you fellow gun nerds, you fellow Model 8 and 81 aficionados spending the time with me as we figure out how to, how to make this old girl work. We did, uh, and I'm looking forward, looking forward to having her in my safe for many years to come. This is DR Drake 63 saying thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys.